Multi-output plugins can now be automatically wrapped in a rack and have its outputs routed. Instances can be created on new tracks within a submix, saving both time and effort. In 12.5, it's possible to set a plugin within a rack as default. When set as default, opening the rack from the mixer will open the plugin UI instead. This eliminates the need to open the rack and locate the plugin each time you need to make an adjustment. An option has been added to show a rack's faceplate in its own window, much in the same way that you can do with plugins. This can also be set as a default view, hiding the rack's complexity behind a simple interface. A new faceplate control named Meter has been added, allowing you to assign and display level meters within a rack. You can assign custom images, including SVGs, to style them to your liking, and the ability to use SVGs for any control allows for higher resolution at any scale. 